I took my family from living their luxury lives in the city to now living on a farm in the middle of nowhere with a $5 million debt. Can we succeed? Can we make a living? And can we not go to jail? Let's find out together. P.S. Thanks to G Portal for sponsoring. Links down below for gportal.com. Thanks, G Portal. They're hungry again? They're always hungry. What do you want from these people? You got everything lined up out here. This is kind of nice. I didn't do it. I'm going to spend Bri. Either Bri or Blake. Well, you, which, you know, Blake went home today, right? What? Yeah, he went on home. You let him? Believe it or not, you're allowed to go home at any point you want to. It's, you know that, right? Well, there he goes. I'm kidding. Yeah, you need this paycheck. All right, so what are we doing today? You know what we're doing today? I don't. That's what I was going to ask you. See, the only thing I know is we're done with everything. I think because, you know, yesterday we sold off the rest of the silage finally. That's all sold. We have about 200 grand to spend. So I think I might go to the dealership today and do... Uh, do a little bit of stuff. Yeah. Uh, your best bet right now, I know the uh, Case IH right now and the Massey Ferguson both need uh, new fuel filters and new stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I'll start with the case. And then uh, also go ahead and repair, go ahead and uh, do a little bit of, like spray paint work and all that stuff on like the mowers and all the implements because all that stuff is getting pretty used up right now. And Yeah, this one's actually, yeah, that's looking rough. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll start taking care of some of that. All right, thank you, buddy. I'm going to go down to the dealership and go spend more money. Oh, okay. Hey, Chris, when I get back you know some of that old equipment we have around the shop that just we ain't using anymore yes why don't we just do like a big auction like put it online and sell it off in the auction i think that's a good idea because we're not using it and it's just kind of wasting space in the in the barn at this point and I'm, i know with your debt you could use the money yeah ain't that the truth what are you doing here well let's spend more money didn't mom text you last night saying don't stop spending money oh we got 200 grand we can spend money she won't notice it i need a potato topper i need a potato harvester and i need a silage chopper well okay then it then well, me a new tractor here's the first one what do you think what's the hours on it do you really want to know that kinda well okay we technically got two of them one is honestly actually brand new everything's replaced on it this one on the other hand it has over 12 hours on it still a little bit low such how old it is all right so how much you want i'm gonna say that the dealership's gonna want 18 for it Eighteen thousand. yep sold all right that's the easy part there's potatoes and you only got one topper over here how much y'all want for the one topper we're asking 12 for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see the rust on it. Yeah, she's old. All right, so I'll take that as well. All righty. Last but not least, these. You know what these even are, son? No, I'm still uh, trying to figure stuff out, honestly. These are okay, too I'm new not, to me. And... I'm not even going to... Th these are the pieces of equipment for the corn we're going to need. How much are they wanting for these? Let me pull it out on my phone. Uh, 20K is looking like. All right, so we'll just take this one right here. We'll take this one right here. So yep. that's 20K. Let me get my calculator out. 20 plus 15 plus 12. We're at 47. All right, that leaves me plenty of room in the budget to buy some other stuff. Um, What's this worth? 25. 25,000? Yep. That's it? I mean, yeah, it has quite a bit of hours on it. I mean, you can hop in there and look. Oh. Sold. Okay. Oh, All right, so sold. that brings your grand total to what? Looks well, like 70,000. All right, is there anything else? I mean, let me look around for a second. Hold up. How much is the 4490? 28,000. You know, why not add it to the grocery list? All righty, and that brings our grand total to... $100,000. All righty, so who do I pay? Go in there. My future father-in-law is working in there. Yay. Yep, you get to go and interact with him. All right, thanks, sir. Alright, told so, you he wasn't nice. Ain't that the truth? Oh, I, st I still don't. I don't see what you see in that woman either. Getting the case IH and let's start transporting stuff. Yeah, yeah. And after paying our hundred thousand dollars, we went ahead and loaded everything up and he took it on back to the house one trip at a time. And once we got there, my cousin pulled up shortly after me with a bit of a surprise. What the heck are these? Please tell me. Just for all my lord, tell me this is a project you're working on for somebody else for extra money. Why would I tell you that? Because I'm hoping that's the case. Well, you tell me that these are a project you're working on for someone else. <laughs> they're not. These are a part. They're the newest additions to the farm. And all, all look at look at the paint job over here. Look how pretty. I, I don't care about that right now. Now, why did you buy this? We didn't need another tractor. I told look you. At, look at the look at this. Oh, no, new oil filter, quit, new quit, transmission. Quit. No, we're going, we're going to discuss this information right here. I look told, at these tires. Look at these. Where did you get the money? That's none of your concern. It really it's is. 
out of your debt. It's not out of your debt. It's not hurting you. This is just gonna help. If it helps, uh, he also traded in your truck. I did what? You did what? You signed extra paperwork, traded in the truck. He did not disclose that information to me. You did that what? That wasn't me. Why did I pay full price for How much did you pay for this? How much did you pay for it? 76000 You wanna know something interesting? No. What? I paid 25 for this and 28 for this. But also, so... apparently, I traded in your dad's truck and I paid more and you called me your favorite cousin and you ripped me yeah. off. You never said anything about trading in a truck. Apparently, my father-in-law did to you. That's what he told me. We're gonna have to have words with this father-in-law. I'm gonna have to have words with both of y'all at the end of this. You know what? Get over there and start spraying off that over there. I was gonna clean up everything right here. No, it's your, you're, you're doing the pressure washing right here. Get, and I'm confiscating yeah, your truck now. But now no. I don't have to pay the dealership to use theirs anymore. I mean, you know what? No, ne nothing? Hey, you better you be both lying. fell for the prank. Thank God. So he didn't <laughs> pay. You, 70... still got, you still got your truck, but he did pay 76K for that tractor. I'm gonna kill him. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna kill him. I was... Yeah, you huh. did trade in the truck. Do you want the head start now or later? Uh, One yes, Mississippi, about. two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. I'm gonna key. No, he did not just do that right there in front of me. Your cousin just broke our fence. What? Get your butt here and you're fixing the fence yourself. Have him fix it. He Tired broke it. Of you people. I'm laying down for a little bit. The next day. Wakey, wakey. Coffee's ready. Oh, up? you've learned. I don't. I'm just making it for y'all. I don't drink it. I know, but you didn't ask for breakfast this time. No, that's uh, that's impressive. Yeah. Um, I might have already left and gotten some. Hey, you want to go get some pancakes or something? I'm thinking Waffle House. What about you? Waffle House? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. We'll be back later. Don't tear nothing up this time. No promises. Well, that wasn't the best breakfast in the world, but it wasn't the worst either. Yeah, you know, sometimes a little bit more than coffee is worth it, though. Exactly. Do you think he broke anything this time? Of course. Brock, get your butt back here. I see you backing away over there. All right. It. We got work to do. Let's go out through all the equipment and decide what we are officially going to put on eBay and sell it. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't think we need all this? No, not at all. Forty nine fifty five. I mean. That we're keeping that. Why? I'm keeping that. Fine. Now these two. I think we can sell both of these as a pair. I'm about to say, let's uh, yeah, let's get rid of these two. We gotta get rid okay. of them. Okay. I also think we need to get rid of this. It, I don't think it's a piece of equipment that we can really afford to keep around because it's gonna break down in a few more days. Uh, well, I I would say it's in our best interest to get this off our hands. Yeah, exactly, and possibly look at. I wonder one. why. Let's move on. What's the next one? Now this right here. I think we upgrade. I think we upgrade this. Or do we possibly look for a second one of these instead of trading it off and getting a bigger one? Or do we get a second one? And make the work two times as fast two times as fast is always better for me this this farm is growing so at some point we're gonna be we're not gonna have like days like today where there's not a lot to do we'll keep it and this is a guarantee key that, that, that's yep. the best in the market i think uh bra will be happy when i say this i think we sell the pair yep the I mean, I, yeah i'll be happy i just don't think a certain person would be well here's what i'm gonna say is we have that farm all up there on the rock we can just say that that's her farm all and it's just broken that's what i'm talking uh, about because it is mad it, there is th there is the broken engine in that trash because he put the broken engine in it, so. yeah she won't be able to get that started so it's believable so what uh, this right here spreader it's got to go i'm tired of this little sucker all right what about this I'm this wind rower sucks it. i said we get rid it's, of it it's tiny what about this so now that i'm thinking about it do we really need this piece of equipment right here i mean not, not really we've had it for how long now what is this one called the the white farm yeah, equipment I, definitely can replace that right so these well, are just like redundant tractors well hold on hold on hold on, hold on. why I, let's get rid of this. Let's get this right here would be worth more money, and let's just make my wife happy and keep this. You know what you, they say: happy, happy wife, wife, happy, happy life. life. Exactly. Yep. At the end of the day, this right here. Don't get me wrong. Now this right here is a good little tractor, but we still need a small tractor around to pull equipment in and out of the place, and it, it just it makes everything easier. But this is worth ten grand compared to two grand. Which one makes more economical sense? I mean, we could sell both of them for twelve grand. But then we have to go buy another little tractor because we have to have a little one. So I think we just get rid of this pair instead of that pair and we just get rid of the spreader over there uh chris all right yes come with me you know what this looks like it almost looks ruined this is ready to harvest Ooh. we gotta remove we gotta remove the foliage so we gotta that's go. what that topper the that's first the topper. that the thing i asked you okay that goes on just one of the regular tractors yep so we're going to on the this. back yep. on the front the back, back. okay you, either or but i mean we only got back one so we're just gonna cut it back go ahead and start we'll go ahead and start harvesting potatoes today all right i can you want me to take care of that uh, i'm gonna help up the harvesting uh i'm gonna start with the topper and then we'll switch, okay? Okay. Hey, look at how convenient that opening is. Listen, it ain't staying. It is I not. I think we should leave it. Son, you are replacing.
place in that fence if that's the last thing you do. Never harvested potatoes before. How do I know if I got them all? It picks them up. Trust me. It does one row at a time. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Okay. We're about to be here for a little while. Yeah, yeah, this tractor might be a little big for this job. I'm not saying Nate was right, but um, he wasn't wrong. Hold on. Detach that. Let's try to attach this one up. See if this one's any better. Okay. So, I guess we're going to need a new harvester. A new, another one of these harvester boys. What do y'all think? Yeah, I definitely yeah. think that's a good plan, but were we going to we gonna sell that stuff today? Are you put it on? Did you put it on the on the eBay or where would you say you're putting it? We're putting it on eBay. Okay. I thought, I thought so now we just we just kind of wait. Are you yeah. full? Yeah, I'm full. Where are you gonna put those? So since we don't really have a way to store these, because these have to be stored in the ground. Ashley, you know what'd be perfect? Let's cut down. Let's cut down these right here. Let's let's get down. Let's get rid of some of these fences, and we'll make one big pile of potatoes right here in the middle, and then we can take these fences right here and put them on the other side over there where someone broke through the fence. All right, does that sound good, everybody? Sounds good. All right, let's Sounds get good. to work. Thank you all so very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching today's video. We appreciate y'all so very much. We definitely love making this series. I know I do. And I hope y'all had a very fun with this. Please come back and watch this again. And ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting started with all the fun and goofy stuff we're about to start doing. A lot is planned, so ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We love y'all. See y'all next time. Peace!